so welcome to the today's tutorial in our previous tutorial we have spawned the zomi spawner wave uh, in which we were spawning the waves but we haven't included anything in the main function so this timer functionality it is not working so we will work it today and it will be a small uh, change to make so i will encourage you uh, to make this functionality on your own uh, like it just you know in uh, zombie spawner manager as soon as we are starting the wave you just have to trigger one function like if you will go through the code first we have the zombie wave spawner right as soon as we are hitting the begin play and we are starting this zombie wave we will start a timer and just check like how much time is elapsed and we can check like what's the next way what's the cool off time and uh, things like that and we will update that functionality in our heart so if we will go to that ui main function we already have that update timer function sorry i got a call in between so here update timer functionality we have already implemented inside the main function if i'm not wrong so we just have to call this function from heard so if you will open heard i'm um, heard let me check we have time functionality yes so we have update time functionality so everything is in line already so we just have to code this so let's start so uh, I, I will include one variable uh, in the private and we will name it as elapsed time i already know like inside unreal engine we already have this uh, you know timer functionality but we do want to reset it again and again that's why we are using this custom one so as soon as i'm spawning my wave i will like reset it to zero so elapse time is equals to zero so whenever i will call my zombie wave functionality i will reset it uh, to zero and it will again count to one two three four five and in the begin play function after that zombie wave what we will do we will include one time manager thing so f timer handler we need one handle uh, it is for the elapsed time elapsed time handle okay so get word timer manager set timer here uh, we will include this elapsed timer handler and we will create one lambda function so inside this lambda function we will code and we want this lambda function to run like after every one second and it will be in loop right so what we will do we will increment this elapsed time elapsed time variable elapsed time we will increment this uh, okay we are not capturing anything so just put and and it will work so now we will check if herd is valid or not so g herd and this is valid so and current wave so here we are checking three things because sometimes you know like it is possible like we have destroyed this component let's imagine by mistake so this will be invalid and it won't go forward because whenever i have seen like in my code and in other course too like in timer manager uh, whenever we are setting timer in loop uh, things have gone like we have destroyed the component then it will uh, go inside the null character like it will give you the null error so that is why i'm just checking this i'm also checking if the g head is valid or not and if the current wave is the like you know it is not zero or minus one so it should be fine sorry it should be non-zero so it should work next is uh the string which we do want to print out so in our case we will put a timer string a string and if so here there are two things 
one is the remaining time so const int remaining time is equals to current wave minus okay so current wave so the current wave contain the wave duration wave number and cool off time so this is what we know from the previous tutorial so if you haven't watched it you can go through it so the wave duration is the time like let's imagine the first wave duration is for 120 second so what we will do we will minus it to the elapsed time so if the elapsed time is like 10 second and the wave duration time is 120 second so the remaining time is like one 10 seconds so we can we can say okay the next wave remaining time is this much right so this is first and remaining time should be greater than zero so that there are two conditions so if you if you see like I am putting semicolon here so this is also uh, the way you can code else so else uh, okay, so if this is true, that means like uh, the current wave is still going on. Then what I will do, I will just say timer string is equals to next wave remaining time. Next wave remaining time. And the time will be f string from int and the remaining time perfect so if it is not wrong that means like the the uh, remaining time is less than zero or equal to zero so in that case we know after the wave duration is off then it will come the cool off time so we will set that cool off time so timer string is equals to cool off time so it will be the cool off time plus the remaining time uh, I, I will tell you why so f is string from int as a current wave cool off time plus remaining time so when we are incrementing the elapsed time remember so our remaining time okay first thing is uh, this is the whole section of if so uh, if it is not ending here the scope of if is still here so that means the scope of this variable remaining time will be till here so this is first that is why i can use this variable here uh, okay next is like when the time uh, you know wave duration is uh, more than the allowed time so let's imagine the wave duration was 120 and the remaining time uh, and sorry the elapsed time is greater than 120 so let's imagine it, it is 130 so that means the remaining time will be minus 10 minus 10 means this this will be false it will go to the else statement and minus 10 means the cool of time minus 10 so if cool of time is 20 uh, 20 minus 10 10 then 10 second is still remaining for of time right if it if it will increment more it will you know go in the decremental value uh, so you can just see the time in a second and once this is over we will just update our herd like we have update the timer and just put the timer string timer string mm and this should do the task so let's hop back to the unreal engine okay compile the code okay so at the top you can see it is saying the next wave it is after like it will spawn after one second Let me play this game till that time. Maybe we can create some more, you know, hidden places. And this is one more error. Like uh, at the left, you can see it is saying BT zombie is not valid. 
I exactly know why it is coming, so we will sort that too. Maybe I can pause a bit because uh, it is 50 seconds to go, or we can wait, we can play the game. Because if we uh, do want to make it more interesting, I think we need these pillars, multiple. Uh, we need multiple pillars. Okay, so at, at the top you can see it is saying that cool of time is seven, six, five. Okay, now the next wave started. And we can add one more variable actually uh, here. We do have these two, right? Like we have zombie kill, we have health, but we don't have any variable of the uh, wave count. So we can also update our wave count. Uh, and to create that, I can just copy this. Control C, Control V. And so on the wave count. And this wave count, uh, it should be exactly like zombie kill if I'm not wrong. So 5120 wave count. Okay, we have to anchor it to fifty. Okay, it is four hundred and seventy. Seventy like fifty. And why is okay? Why is one twenty? And we will add fifty more. Uh, we need this tobacco. I'm just using it as a placeholder because we don't have any. Uh, perfect texture for it so we will add that mm, we can maybe add 200 180, 190 and it looks perfect and it will be like wave current wave current wave to zero uh, okay current wave is zero so we have to update the name we'll name it as wave count okay i think this seems perfect go to ui main and one of the things like you can just copy paste it no or or just to make it faster or actually just duplicate it we will name it in proper format so HB wave count and we need I wave count we will change it in the future and the last one is TB wave count perfect and we will create one more function in public so update uh, wave count alt enter then the definition copy upper and tb underscore wave count we can just <laughs> use the same variable name, but it won't look good. So wave 
account copy replace it fifth count now we need the same function in the herd so I'm heard for the update timer I will just control D wave count update wave count alt enter generate definition we'll copy and paste the code we have done this drill so uh, it, it should not be difficult to understand the code right so this is good now we have to call this functionality that had function uh, so in the manager we are spawning the wave inside the wave spawn if i'm not wrong here and this is the current wave right so what we can do g heard update wave count and here we will increment the current wave number okay hmm okay let's do one thing instead of a string one of the things which we can do we can just put int go to the wave number and here int and update wave count update wave count and instead of wave count we will put wave string from int wave count okay themes it seems good and we are incrementing our wave count here and we are incrementing our variable so we are using plus plus so that means it will print afterwards but before it will increment the same variable so remember that okay perfect compile and save and compile the function compile the code okay let's check if everything working fine or not at the left okay the current wave uh, they haven't updated okay the main reason which i do think it is not doing so because uh, the main at that time so uh, okay in the begin play as soon as we are spawning the wave uh, before heard because see uh, the actor this like in the world the actor spawn first and the begin play uh, most of the time it will be called first before heard so it might be a possibility like we are not you know the main function is not valid because if you will go to the code i think it printed that uh, warning that ui main is not defined so one of the main one of the uh, things which we can do is to call this function zombie uh, wave after a second or so so everything will run fine because maybe in future we uh, we will add some functionality then again we have to do the same thing so what we will do uh, like we will get world timer manager like let, let me copy the code first copy paste we need this comma one comma false and we'll close this uh, I think okay. Need one bracket here. We need def timer handler. Handler. Uh, delay timer. And we will put it here. Delay timer. Now uh, we will. We are calling this functionality uh, one second after. So let me compile okay we will check this for this error too bt zombie is not valid 
Okay, now it is working fine. At the left, you can see we have wave number one. Okay, next is the the zombie. Uh, it is saying uh, there's one more error. It is saying BT zombie is not valid. Copy, Control Shift F. Copy. So we are getting this error because in the MAI base we are defining the behavior tree and in our code uh, when we are responding the ai we are not running the behavior tree manually so we can comment this code and again we can compile the code and it should work fine because right now we are responding the ai's uh, ai according to that you know uh, according to that manager so that is why so but in that case if we, we are spawning the AI it won't work so either we can just ignore that so you can see right now it is not moving at all because now it is not connected to the behavior tree okay I think it got some error yes because uh, we are we have removed the behavior tree and it is trying to set up some you know so one of the things which we can do, uh, maybe we can just ignore this functionality when we are respawning the zombie. So we can just comment this out. So we can, you know, uh, spawn the AI and at the same time we can also, uh, give me a second, let me close the Unreal Engine and now it should work fine. So uh, now we can uh, run our code, both the side face like uh, we can spawn our AI using spawner manager and at the same time we can manually spawn it in the scene and it will work fine. Now let's <coughs> compile our code again. Okay, run. See, now he's moving. And if we will wait 10 seconds more for our spawner manager to spawn one AI. Uh, and he's also moving. So this is working fine. So this was the today's code. I hope you are loving this tutorial uh, do like and subscribe bye bye and have a nice day